Okay, so if you have strong basic math skills and know a thing or two about square roots, well then this should be an easy problem for you to do without the aid of a calculator. So let's go and take a look at the problem. Uh, the question here is the square root of 0 0.04. What is this equal to? All right, so again, that is the problem. No calculators, but you can use your supercomputer. And if you don't know where that's at, it's right here. It's in between your ears. This thing right here is far better than any artificial intelligence. That's actual intelligence. So use that thing and then also use a piece of paper and pencil. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to explain exactly how to do this problem without the aid of a calculator step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so the square root of 0 0.04, what is this equal to? Well, the correct answer is 1 fifth. Now, some of you may have came up with the equivalent decimal version of that fraction, which is 0 0.2, but whether it's 1 fifth or 0 0.2, uh, 0.2, either one of these is correct. So if you got this, or you got this number or this number, well, it indicates to me you know what you're doing. So we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face, an A plus, a 100%. And multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you still have your basic math skills. And in particular, it tells me that you know a thing or two about place value. Okay. And place value is all this stuff that we learned way back in primary school, elementary school, the tenths place, the hundredths place, all this stuff. That's going to be an important part of doing this problem. This is not the only way to do this problem, but it's uh, probably the easiest approach. But we'll break down the solution to this problem step by step. So don't feel bad. If you didn't get this right, I'll have you looking like this in a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and get started here. So here is our problem. We have the square root of 0 0.04. Now, obviously, we could plug this thing into our calculator and get the right answer, but we just don't want to do that. Let's suppose we didn't have a calculator available. So how could we approach this problem? Well, you know, most of us are looking at this 4, and we're saying, okay, I know 4. Uh, I can take the square root of 4. That's equal to 2. So somehow there's got to be a 2 involved in uh, the answer here, right? So probably most people are thinking in those terms. And if you're thinking in those terms, well, that's very good. But we have to be careful here, okay? Because this is 0.04. It's not just 4. So 0 0.04, what is this equivalent to uh, in terms of a fraction? Well, the way we need to, uh, well, the, to answer that question, we need to understand, again, this thing called place value, okay? Place value. Now, most of you, okay, I suspect probably approach doing this problem like this without the aid of a calculator. If you took another approach and, and uh, uh, you understood the approach and it was mathematically correct and you got the right answer, well, then that's fine as well. But let's take a look at this decimal, 0 0.04. Now, I'm saying, saying it's decimal 0 0.04, but really it's what? 0 0.04. We could say this as four hundredths, okay? Four hundredths. Now, this is the tenth spot. This is the hundredths uh, space or value, right? We're talking about place value. So this is four hundredths, okay? Four hundredths or four over 100. This is for 100. Uh, if you take four and divide it by 100, you're gonna get 0 0.04. So what we're gonna wanna do here is take this decimal and write it as a fraction by thinking about place value. Okay, so 0 0.04 is equivalent to uh, four hundredths. Now, the question is, we want to take the square root of uh, 0 0.04 or 4 hundredths. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we just simply take the square root of this. So the square root of 0 0.04, okay, is going to be uh, equal to us taking the square root of 4 hundredths. Okay, so the square root of 0 0.04 is uh, the same thing, the same value as the square root of 4 of one, over 100. And now here, this is where we get to show off our knowledge of square roots because we have the square root of four over 100. And if we know a thing or two about square roots, this problem becomes very easy to do. So let's go and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. 
I definitely need your support. Um, you know, I make endless videos. Matter of fact, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have well over 2,000 plus math videos from basic math to advanced math. I make all this content for you, but I need your support so I can help as many people as I possibly can. So just hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, you might as well hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. And here's the remainder of the problem. This is not that difficult. Of course, we need to understand place value that the square root of 0 0.04 is equal to the square root of 4 hundredths, or 4 over 100. Okay, so the square root of 4 over 100, well, what do we need to do here? Well, there is a property of square roots that basically st uh, states that when we're taking the square root of a fraction, a uh, fraction has a numerator and denominator, and we're taking the square root of this entire fraction, it's equivalent of, of um, it's the same thing and equivalent as us taking the square root of the numerator and the square root of the denominator. So the square root of 4 over 100 is equal to the square root of 4 over the square root of 100. This is a property of square roots. And this is awesome because we're like, yay, yay. Now this is going to be so easy because I now know the answer because the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of 100 is 10. I can think most of you know that, and we're left with this value, 2 over 10, but we should, you know, take the extra step and simplify, reduce that fraction down to 1 fifth. Okay, so that's how you do this little problem. Don't feel bad if you didn't get this right. My videos are not intended to make anyone feel bad. Now, if you do want to uh, relearn math, or maybe you're learning uh, basic math right now or algebra, whatever the case is, I want to speak to those of you out there that have been away from uh, math for a long time, and maybe you want to kind of uh, brush up on your math skills. All right, I got two great courses for you. My first course is called my Math Foundations course. It's a little kind of um, a short course on basic math. I cover place value, how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, decimals, all this, just the basic stuff, uh, percent, fractions. But if you have a strong foundation, well, then you can continue to build, uh, you know, um, other uh, math topics or math subjects on top of that, namely algebra and geometry. So if you're interested in relearning basic math and more, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I cover the same thing in this foundation course, in this course, but I also teach you a ton of algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. You will have a very well-rounded math education by the time you finish this self-paced course. All right, so that's uh, two options for those of you that might be, you know what, yeah, I just, I knew I could have done better in math in school, but maybe you had a couple math teachers or maybe your situation, whatever the case was, if you want to relearn math or learn math right the first time, here's an opportunity for you to do so. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.